everyone. For this review, we have the Operation Monster Force Count Dracula. This line, um, I'm trying to remember who, what company this is. It says Big Bad Workshop, so... Oh, Fresh Monkey Fiction, yes. Um, I don't know why I forgot about that. Um... These figures are um, starting to come out. Um, I haven't kept up with this too much, but it is pretty interesting. Um, we're in the month of October, and it seems to be a cool Dracula figure. So I figured this would be a good time to review one of the products from them. Um, on the top, got a nice logo. Uh, it does say it's a Big Bad Toy Store exclusive. Um, I get a lot of stuff from Big Bad Toy Store, so I definitely recommend them. Got uh, Count Dracula on the side. There is UPC label on the bottom. Uh, the other side, pretty much same as the other. And then on the back, there is a call out to the other figures in the wave. Um, quite a few. There's this... Uh, Forgotten King character who is actually the bad guy of this uh this line. And uh interesting thing is uh Dracula is like an ally to help stop this dude. So pretty pretty weird um story, but very clever also. And then this is a booklet cover type thing. So on the inside there's this really nice comic art I mean just gorgeous comic art and on the other side you get to see the figure all right so let's open this up all right so out of the package you got a little bag you got the plastic you got a uh, backdrop um, it's not very thick but this is kind of cool this could be something to kind of put on your shelf to spruce it up okay so here he is out of the box and he is pretty much a modern marvel legends figure as far as like a uh, build look um he is pinless um, he's got a hole there i guess for some future updates the cloak is a plastic overlay and um, it does move out the way pretty well he's got a disc hinge shoulder uh, with a butterfly bicep swivel swivel double elbow uh, wrist articulation and uh, bend for the wrist there feels like there's a uh torso joint but with the overlay not gonna be able to do too much with it uh disc hinge hips upper swivel double knee cloak's gonna get in the way but it is there uh cut looks pretty cool he's got a really dynamic up and down on the foot and it is ratcheted and there is a swivel so um, maybe slightly better than Marvel Legends because they often don't do ratchets in the ankle and I don't know something about Hasbro anytime they do ratchets in the ankle they put the detents in weird places like you can't get them to stand straight um, so these guys have done it pretty well um, the head sculpt was pretty nice And he's got kind of this uh, this green skin tone to help make him look a little bit more undead. And he's got kind of these pointy ears, so he's kind of that style of vampire. And let me pop his head off. Ew. So the head, the whole neck assembly came out. There is a dumbbell down in there. Let's see if I can get the head off. There we go. 
Um, just to show you why I have this off, the head has a hinge on the top. And there is his angry face, looking really nice. So all that, uh, all that work that they've done can really get some extreme poses. You know, his hair is going to be in the way. The hair is, you know, kind of hard plastic, but um, that that design is pretty nifty. Uh, very above and beyond. So sword is really nice. It's like a two-headed dragon. I guess three-headed dragon if you consider the bottom of the hilt. And he can hold the sword pretty well. Let me zoom out. So pretty nice. Um, some of the joints are a little stiff. So, like any good um, action figure collector, you should probably uh, do something to warm the joints up before you start doing some extreme poses. You know, take a hair dryer, not directly, you know, on it, but hair dryer, just kind of try to warm it up. Um, or soak it in, like, uh, warm water for a little bit. Um, but yeah, the, the quality of the figure... The paint apps, the joints, it's, it's really nice. And then you got this display stand. You can place them on it like this. Whoops, not like that, but like this. Or you can use it like a tombstone and do that. So this is Dracula. So let's see how he looks with Blade. And I think those two scale pretty well. Uh, we had another Dracula recently. This guy is very flamboyant. But um, actually, that Dracula is a bit bigger. And I think that's a character thing for Marvel. So if you're looking for a Dracula a little bit more... I guess traditional, this could be your Dracula. And then I think sometime later in the year, Monster Force is going to kind of have their own release of veteran Williams. Um, so here's this guy as kind of a stand in. The Monster Force version is going to be uh, probably darker brown, kind of kind of black brown, but um, he he goes in pretty well with this too. So um, I always like it when you can get figures and kind of put them together. Um, I hate that McFarlane is his own scale, He Man is his own scale. Um, all the Hasbro stuff kind of goes together, obviously. But then the Super 7 is its own scale, and NECA is its own scale. So that's always unfortunate. You know, it kind of limits you from being able to put these things together and, you know, limits your imagination with what you can do there. Um, last, uh, the hands. So he's got some reach-out hands. He's got fists, and he's got like a, like a come-here finger, or maybe this is a uh, trigger finger. Um, so he has those also. So all in all, pretty nice release. Definitely recommend this company. Um, I don't know that I'll get into all the different characters because there's a whole nother world of stuff. But if uh, if you're not really collecting Marvel Legends and you want like some scary, spooky monster stuff, this, this is a good um, product to start collecting. So that's the review. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, tune in to more videos coming up. Thank you.